I've been here in Grand Rapids since 1993. I have my wife and our 11-year-old son. My background is very blue collar. I was a machine operator for most of my life. I was working for a company that ended up going bankrupt. As many people that have experienced that themselves, that's a very scary situation. That's when I started researching 3D printing and rapid prototyping. I instantly knew it was something that I wanted to do. I ended up selling my truck and buying my first Robo 3D printer. When I assembled my first hand, initially it was more of a test for myself to try to do a multi-part project. That's when it really dawned on me that there's no excuse for a 3D printer just to sit there with nothing to print. There are people out in the world that could be impacted by a few dollars worth of plastic. We find most kids that may be limb different from birth are absolutely incredible. There is nothing these kids can do. When you work with a family one-on-one -on -one and you see the response from the child, when they try on that hand for the very first time and they pick up a tennis ball and play fetch with the dog, it's a very humbling experience. I really believe that Enable and Robo3D are helping revolutionize the, the open source movement. They're constantly improving their machines and working on new designs. Everything is customizable and out there for, for users to improve upon. The kids become part of the process for building that hand or that arm. So they get to choose their own colors. They get to choose their own themes. Robo3D has been extremely supportive of my efforts since the beginning. That's invaluable when we're trying to do some of the things that we're trying to do, is having a strong, supportive backbone of, of great people like that, helping us move forward, trying to do good things in the world.